come out to me so that, um, so that we can answer your question, okay? All right, so let's get started and take a look at our project and our supplies. So as you can see here, we're gonna do a rainbow today. Now, this template for the rainbow is the uh, where Stacy showed you guys online, but if you don't have a printer like I don't, then um, what I did was I put my piece of paper up to the computer screen and I just drew from that. There's measurements on it so you can see what size it is. I'll show you a different one here. So you can see this looks more like the template and it's got measurement marks here and here so that you can make sure that the size on your screen is the correct size for the paper. All right, and then this is what the finished project looks like. So there's so many ways that you can do this. Um, you can use glue to make the black lines. And what I have here is just Elmer's glue and I've added black paint. Or you can use marker, which is what I've done over here. And then I'm gonna show you guys again how to do it in marker in just a second. But I wanna show you some other things too. So if you, if you guys don't wanna make a rainbow, that's okay. You can draw whatever you want. So I've got a little dog here that we did the other day and his eyes and his nose and his tongue, this is made with glue. So I just took the plastic and I traced it out and I put glue on there. His eyes actually glow in the dark, it's pretty cool. And if you don't have any markers or paint, uh, I'm sorry, if you don't have any markers, you can use paint. So this one right here is, it's hard to see um, because it's so light, but this one glows in the dark too. So this is glow in the dark paint. So it looks pretty cool at night. So don't feel like you have to do the rainbow. If you don't like rainbows or you don't want to do a rainbow, that's totally fine. You can draw whichever thing you want and color it and turn it into a sun catcher. So the most important thing that you will need is some kind of clear plastic. Now there's loads of things out there you can use that are clear plastic. Um, these sheets right here are acetate sheets. There's vellum sheets that you can buy, but if you don't want to buy anything, most people have at home some kind of plastic wrap or some kind of wax paper or parchment paper, or you've got recycled clear plastic in your recycle bin that you can use. Um, those clear plastic takeout containers work really well if you wanna use those. Anything that's kind of see-through because you want the light to pass through and uh, is non-porous. That's why you want something plastic or like wax paper or vellum so that it won't soak up. So, do we have any questions out there so far, Stacy and Mallory? Nothing on my end. Oh, Excellent. Mallory, you're muted. I think you have a question. <laughs> um, I have one question from Serena. Do you have to use black when you are creating your, your outline? Absolutely not. You do not have to use black. You can use whatever color you want. I just did the black because it mimics the stained glass, so the lead leaded uh, filler between the glasses were always black traditionally. So you can use any color, any color at all. Or if you wanted to, you could just color right up to the line. So you just wanna use something to put your template onto your plastic. Um, if you're really careful, you could probably actually tape your template. So actually this right here is a good example. So this is just laying behind this sheet of plastic right now. And it's kind of like static clung to the back. So if you wanted to, you could just lay your template below the plastic of your choosing and then color it. And then you could pull the template off and you wouldn't have any lines at all. So hmm. it's really up to you guys. Very cool. All right. So if there's no other questions, I'm going to go ahead and get started here and start tracing my uh, rainbow. Now I'm going to do this one with a marker, but like I mentioned before, I'm going to show you guys one more time. Oh, my puppy stuck to it. Uh, this one takes a little bit more time because you have to let it dry. But I really like the glue method where you take white Elmer's glue and you mix in a little bit of paint because it, did, it does give you a texture to the black line. So if, you're, if you decide that you want to paint it with like actual paints, um, the glue works best because it kind of gives you walls almost to keep that paint from running all over the plastic. Because plastic can be kind of slick. It's not a, a very absorbent like paper, so it's not gonna stay put as well on a piece of plastic. So if you're using paints, check out the glue method. That works really well. If you're just using markers like I'm gonna use today, 
Um, and I love markers because you can see through it really easily when it's in the sun, it looks really great. Um, that's what I'm gonna do today. So it's the quicker method. If you don't wanna wait for something to dry, I would recommend you go the marker method. All right. So what you guys are gonna do is you're gonna put your template below your paper or if you're doing this freehand and you just wanna draw your own thing, now's the time to kind of draw your own thing. And I'm just gonna trace this with a black marker. And you wanna make sure that you're using the markers, um, the markers that we recommended on the page or something like them because they will not wash off or rub off of the paper. So if you're, if you have like a dry erase marker or some of the really, uh, really, really washable markers aren't going to work as well because if you're not careful, you'll touch it and smudge it and then um, it'll mess up your picture and we don't want that. All right, any, any more questions out there while I'm tracing away, guys? Well, Jen, your dog was very popular. Ah. Doggy one. <laughs> Lots of people are asking, did you freehand that? Or I, I totally did, and I was, you, this is funny. So <laughs> it doesn't matter how old you are. Um, we all feel a little self-conscious about our art, and I, I do a lot of art for my daughter. And, um, when my son gets older, I'm sure he'll have me do art too, but you know, she'll be like, hey mom, draw me a dog or draw me a pig. And one of the benefits of being a kid with a mom that kind of can draw a little bit is they can make these requests. So one day I was commissioned to draw a dog and I did draw it freehand and I looked at it, I was like, man, this is a really wonky looking dog, but she loves it. And you guys clearly love it too. So lesson learned, don't be too critical on yourself. And I also freehanded the rainbow. Although I feel like I'm doing a bad job now. You're getting lots of kudos on your freehand. Awesome. <laughs> and you can use uh, you can use templates. There's templates out there. Um, I mean, you can get ideas from anywhere. I didn't find anything I liked, which is why I ended up drawing the ones that I did. Um, but that's how it goes. Now, when it comes to the coloring part, so if you notice, I turned this sideways when I traced it. So this is again, just a method that I use to keep myself from uh, smudging the marker as I go across. So always work if you're right-handed from left to right. So I, if you notice, I did my clouds first and then I drew the inside line and I went all the way around the outside. If you're left-handed, it's the opposite, right? So you start from the right and you go left. Um, and what that does is it, it just helps you not smudge it. So when I'm coloring it, I'm going to do the same thing. After I color the clouds here, I'm going to flip it sideways again, and I'm going to, I'm going to work my way out of the rainbow. All right. So I'm going to start with blue. Um, or maybe I'll start with purple. I like that color. Now this is just a five band rainbow. So you can make a six band if you have room um or four whatever makes you happy you can make this a monochromatic rainbow you can make it a colorful rainbow if you're doing a rainbow yeah, all right color. you may color of course i don't know what zoe's gonna do hers is probably gonna be super colorful too all right so just make sure you keep inside those lines you drew if you drew the lines if not pay attention to where your template is under the plastic and you can pull that template out or you can leave it in there Either way is fine. I'm gonna leave mine in there. It's a little bit easier to see the lines. Jen, we're getting a couple questions about the pins you're using right now. Oh, okay. Uh, so these are just the ones I had handy. I use our Artist Loft, um, but the ones that I that are tagged online are also really great. Those are my next favorite. And again, those don't bleed um, or smear. So I would recommend using those. And I think Zoe's maybe using uh, like a Crayola. Oh, you don't like those? Okay, so Zoe's, Zoe's not recommending these. So here, you use these. One of the fun things about crafts is you, you learn a lot from doing it. So again, we talked about you can use um, you can use paint. 
just make sure that um, actually I'm going to show you my favorite paint here. I'm just going to set it right here or here. I'll show you guys really close. It's the Creatology washable paint. I'm just going to leave it right there. Um, I love this paint. It comes in a little pouch. It's super easy to use and it's just thick enough that it, it gives really good coverage, but it's not so thick that you couldn't use it for a project like this where you want the sun to kind of come through. And you can also use, um, glue or glow in the dark paint, I think was another one we did. Um, if you're using the glow in the dark paint, you might have to put a couple of coats on it. That one seemed to be a little bit light. Uh, some paints are a little thicker. If you, if you paint it on and you feel like it's really too thick, you can always thin it out a little bit. If you're using a water-based paint, you just put some water in there, thin it out. And for the glue, I just put the glue straight onto the dog. So like his nose and his eyes, I made with glue. And I just poured it on there in like circles. I just started in the middle and went out bigger and bigger with my circle. I will warn you, the glue takes a really long time to dry. Um, I don't think it was completely dry it, for like two days. And I was going to do the glue one today, but oh my gosh, it just takes so long. Um, to dry that you have to be super careful with it not to touch it. I had to put it out of the way because I put, kept laying things down in it. You can also paint colored glue on and make it thinner so you can dilute it a little bit with water. So let's say you have like a pink glitter glue. You want to put that on your, your sun catcher. Rainbow glitter glue. Rainbow glitter glue. Yep, that would work too. You can just dilute it a little bit and then you can brush it on that way if you don't want to pour it straight on. What are some of the things you guys are making? Tell, tell Mallory and Stacy what you guys decided on if, you, if you're not doing the rainbow. You guys are a quiet group. I got some stars. Awesome. Can I be quiet too? Yeah. <laughs> Lots of people loving the dog. Awesome. <laughs> oh, hearts. Rain, um, glitter hearts. Oh, I love that idea, the glitter hearts. We should do some of those, Zoe. All right, so my clouds are done. I made my clouds blue. And, you know, clouds are white, clouds are blue. You can make them whatever color you want. Red if you wanted to. And then again, I'm gonna start on the inside and work my way out for the band so that I don't get my hands in it. Ooh, Maureen is making a cupcake. What, that's awesome. Does it have sprinkles? That's the big question. Zoe's cupcake would always have sprinkles. I have slime that that lives in a cup of sprinkles. It's true. And it's a cupcake. That's true. You do have sprinkle slime. So, hey, Jen, can you talk about some different kinds of markers and paints again? Um, yes, absolutely. Sharpies. Sharpies would work. Yep. Um, Sharpies you have to be careful with, like, if, you know, the best idea for super little kids because it's a really permanent marker so that's one of the things I like about the artist loft it comes off a little bit easier if you get it on yourself um, you know that one that I recommended by Creatology on the website that one comes off really easily but it has good application um, but yeah you could absolutely use sharpie um, again it's really just don't use something that's water-based and if you're if you're um, if you want to use a paint base, like again, just being careful, like small kids, it's best to go with markers, bigger kids. If, if you want to do the, the, um, you know, the paints, that's, that's cool too. That would work. Just be careful with the smudging. And the glue is actually really good. I really like the glue method, thinning it out and painting it on. It gives a really neat look. Oh, no. Oh no, that's all right, we'll fix it. Do you want me to fix it? Mm -hmm. All right. I need a towel. You need a towel? 
Here, we'll have to fix it later, okay? Keep coloring your other stripes. You want this? There you go. All right. Never fear. If you mess up, you can always fix it. It's the lovely thing about art. I know how to fix it. Mommy? How? Am I allowed to use glue on this? You want to put glue over it? I don't think that would fix it. No. Oh, yes, you can cover it in pom-poms. There we go. Solution. But I need glue to stick it. All right, we'll get you glue. But what kind Finish of coloring. Glue? Finish coloring, and then we'll do the pom-poms. That's a good idea. Tiny pom-poms. That's what I have. Yep, we'll put tiny pom-poms. That's another thing. You can always embellish these uh, sun catchers a little bit if you want to. Just remember, like, if you put too much stuff on it, you're not going to catch any sun in it, so using something that's a little bit translucent works best. Another thing you can do, speaking of different ways that you can make these sun catchers, I've used tissue paper before. So if you have tissue paper and you're using, uh, you know, you can use exactly the same method where you use plastic and a template. Um, and instead of coloring it, you can small, uh, tear small pieces of tissue paper and then take a thin, like take your Elmer's glue and thin it out just a little bit and brush it on and let it dry and it will actually make a really cool look too. Um, I'm done with my blue marker. Okay, pick a different marker. You're doing yeah, good. But, but we'll I fix want it. To... Yep, we'll fix it when you're all done coloring. Do you guys want to hold up what you're doing so we can see what's going on out there? I see a lot of people working hard. Heads down, working. Oh, we've got some, okay, some drawn straight on paper. I like that. That's nice. Oh, we've got one on a clear plastic lid. Exactly what I was thinking. Yep. Some good looking rainbows. I'm telling you. Oh, wow. There's some very intricate drawings out there, actually. You guys are really good. Oh, I see an octopus. Very oh. cool. Octopus. All right, yeah. so next request. Well, Starbucks cup. Very fun. <laughs> Starbucks cup. Yeah. That's mommy's favorite it's... place. <laughs> Starbucks. Yeah. She always gets coffee there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's your marker, Missy? Telling all my secrets. Great job. So uh, while we're coloring here, if any of you guys have a birthday or you lost a tooth, let us know that too. Zoe and if keeps... you have a bionic tooth. Oh, if you have a bionic tooth. Zoe has a bionic tooth. She loves talking about it. Jen, a lot of people are asking, are you coloring on the plastic directly right now? Yes. Okay. So let me show, I can show you what this looks like. Um, so here's my plastic piece. You can kind of see it when I bend it, how it pulls away. And then this is my template underneath. I just left my template. You can pull the template out if you wanted to. It's still like, I drew it onto the paper, so it still works. Actually, I'll move it because it makes it look like I did a better job tracing. Tracing, <laughs> so. <laughs> going to make me look better. <laughs> Very nice. I see a couple of missing teeth as I scroll through the group. I like it. Can I Elizabeth missing a tooth. Very nice. Thank you. Uh -huh. Zoe's counting down the days until she can lose a tooth. <laughs> like one, two, three, four. <laughs> it's probably going to be more like a year. <laughs> year? Yeah. What is a year? A long time. A long time. Mm -hmm. Like 30 weeks. Like 365 rainbows. What? No. I cannot believe it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How's your rainbows going out there or your, your drawings? Okay. This is the part that takes a little bit of time. Yeah, Zoe, yours looks really good. You're staying the lines really well, too. A little bit I got out of the lines, but it's good. That is okay. That's right. That's good. It's 
all good. I see some people using paint too. Those are looking very cool. Yeah, I love the paint method. Like I said, it's a little slower. It's a little messier, you know, but if you have time to do it, that is the way to go. Are you allowed to use water? It's Saturday. We got time today. That's so true. <laughs> that is so true. Although if I use paint, we'd be here all day. Because I'm a slow painter. Okay. All right. So I'm almost done with my rainbow. I've got two more stripes to do here. Now, when it comes time to putting this up, so if you're doing a method that's a little bit wet, you're gonna wanna give it drying time, of course. Make sure you can let it get really good and dry. Um, and then what you're gonna do is, and we'll, we'll go through this, but for some of you who might be ahead of me, cause I'm going kind of slow here, um, you're gonna take your scissors, your kid approved scissors, and you're gonna cut out around the outside of your image, whatever you drew. Um, and I always go a little outside of that because I'm using something that's clear. So when you put it up, you really can't see it anyway. And then that way it keeps me from cutting into my image. So I go just a little tiny bit outside of my black line to cut it and you cut it out and then you can use any method of things to hang it up on the window. Um, if you don't want sticky stuff, like I always use tape. Tape is easy. I love tape. You can get clear tape. It's easy to put up. Yes, you can have it. Um, but some people use those suction cups and they'll punch a hole into it. So you can get mom or dad to punch a hole in the top with maybe a hole punch and then you can tie a string through it. You can hang it that way. Um, but again, I just use the tape because it's clear. You can't see it and it's quick to put it up. And we have several. If you could see our front door, it's like it's like a stained glass monument. It's got all kinds of cool stuff on it. Jen, a couple of folks are saying they have rainbow scaffolds in their neighborhood. So this would be perfect to put in the window for that. Yep. So that was one of the things that prompted me to do the rainbow was I, I wanted to put a rainbow up and I couldn't find any that I liked that would work well for um, the stained glass. So that's why I ended up drawing one. But yeah, we have rainbows and teddy bears and um, yeah, that works really great. Very fun. All right, we're almost done here. We're on the last one and cut it out. Yep, yeah. very nice. We got smiley faces in the clouds over here. These are looking good. I see I think a little bit of watercolor. I think I see some paint. Watercolor is another really great one because it's not so thick that you can't see through it. Yeah. People have watercolor. So that's a good call out there, Mallory. I have watercolors. You do. We could use watercolors. Next time we make these. Yes. Next time we make them, we're going to do an octopus and we're going to paint him with watercolors. Oh, and Dawn has added a big sun to the top of her rainbow. Nice. So clever. So creative. Yep. The other thing is this one's super simple. I mean, we do crafts occasionally that can be a little complex. Our birthday craft, we made a pom pom from scratch. That was pretty crazy. Oh, that's guys got brave. <laughs> brave, <laughs> something else. But okay. in the end, we had a pom pom. There you, there you go. go. All right, so we're just wrapping it up right here. I'm just gonna go back in on my clouds just a little bit. There's some spaces I left that were a little light. So another, so back to the back to the glue and stuff. Our favorite thing is to use glow in the dark because it looks so cool at night. And I never see the glow in the dark. Oh, you don't? Well, that's a good idea. I always see it. It looks, um, it's really cool because the sun charges it all day and then nightfall, it's really, really cool to look at. 
What is this? A dolphin? What is it? A dolphin. Nice. All right. So it's now we're looking rainbows. Uh, you don't have to cut them out. If you're using a really clear plastic, you can just bring the plastic straight onto the window if you want. But I like to cut mine out. So it's up to you guys. Like I said, don't get too terribly close to your lines. That'll make sure that you don't cut them. All right, and then as soon as you're done cutting it out, you are ready to tape it up. So check this out, finished rainbow. Look at that. Yep, awesome. All right, so that's pretty much it guys. It is super easy to do these. You can use any, like I said, if you join late, any kind of plastic here, um, it is, uh, it's really up to you guys and what you have available and any kind of medium to go on top of it that, that you can kind of see through with light. Um, so any last questions, Mallory, before we say goodbye? No, I'm just seeing lots of fun images, dolphins and whales and cuddles, some fabulous rainbows. Yeah, there are a lot. Oh, look at the doll. Oh, the brat doll. Yeah. That is amazing. <gasps> I have Very a Very nice. Baby one. Can yeah. I show her? Sure. Um, These so are great. The cupcakes. Yeah. Don't forget, you guys, if you want to show others what you've done and uh, what you made on Kids Club today, if, you, if you're putting it on Facebook, your mom or dad's putting it on Facebook, you can tag it. Hashtag make it with Michaels, and then you can see what others have done. You can see the work that you've done, um, share with everybody else. So we are really, really excited to have you guys today. Thank you for joining us on our very first Saturday Kids Club Online. Um, we're hoping we can do some more of these. If you guys like them, uh, let us know, and we will see you all next Tuesday. So if you haven't signed up already, our next Kids Club is three. Central time next Tuesday, okay? All right, Mallory, Stacy, thank you guys so Thanks, much. Thanks, guys. Have, Have a great weekend. Bye.